Hey there, Libra. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's go and get into your reading. Um, I want to go ahead and get into the um, energy for the <clears throat> Whispers of Love Oracle deck. I do like this deck. It's kind of cool. Show me energies present for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Are you needing to express your love to people, Libra? Are you needing to come back to loving yourself? <clears throat> I don't know. It's been a lot of change and transition at this time in life. A lot of people have been passing. Show me energy present for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2020. First card out, <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Second card, Queen of Swords. I'm just going to pull your energy and then we'll get into it. Four of Cups. Show me more for Libra. Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, Eight of Swords. Two more for Libra, please. Ten of Cups. And the Magician. <clears throat> Very good energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. Excellent. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So however that resonates in your life, if you're needing to reach out to people who you love, if you're needing to accept love from others, sometimes that's a difficulty for people as well, especially air signs. Sometimes you guys can get in your heads and have difficult times processing emotions, <clears throat> especially when they're coming at you. Um, it's going to be different for everybody, but with the Ace of Pentacles here starting out, either this is, you can look at it however you do, um, oftentimes I'll see it as past, present, future energy, but this can just kind of be an amalgam of however the situation is relating to you, just because these are general readings, um, and these aren't necessarily designated areas, it's just kind of where my mind goes. <clears throat> so... With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, oftentimes that can talk about having a lack of money. Um, sometimes if we go for a loan, you know, it's denied. Certain things are not matching up as far as finances go. Um, sometimes things that, you know, money that you may have saved for one thing goes for another. So it kind of feels like a failure. Um, or it could just be a delay in regard to how are things change, how things are changing in your life. Here you are presented Libra uh, with the Queen of Swords, and she's looking at the Four of Cups. Queen of Swords is a card of discernment. It's a card of being honest with yourself in regard to the experiences that you're dealing with at your current time. If there's any type of delusion or any type of <clears throat> falsity within a situation, even if you're the one looking at at things in a false way, it's time to address that. It's time to change things, which can be a difficult situation for people because sometimes we don't want to see our part in things. We don't want to see <clears throat> um, actions. Here you have the Four of Cups. So you may be dealing with a situation where there may have been somebody that decided to separate from you, not accept an offer from you. Um, maybe they blew smoke up your ass. Who knows what happened here? But the thing about it is like she's looking directly at this Four of Cups. Four of Cups talks about energy that is squandered. It can talk about boredom, but it can also talk about extending yourself to somebody and having them deny you, um, having you deny a situation with somebody. <clears throat> Either way, you're in your head about it and it's not releasing here, Libra, with the Eight of Swords. This card is one that can be tricky. Just because it often talks about when we are in our mind, but we also, because we don't have all of the information, we um, create storylines in our head. We create, you know, narratives so it will be a certain way or it makes you feel better or it makes you come out in a certain way um, feeling better, you know, or thinking differently about the situation when it's important to really truly look at facts, which she is here with her sword, the sword of truth. Sword of truth is presented here as well. Um, 
and basically we're having to look at the facts of a situation, the meat and potatoes of it, the bare bones of the matter, you know, versus seeing things through a rose-colored lens, um, you know, look at the situation for what it is. It may be hurt here, you may be hurt here, but looking at it is going to help alleviate that. Moving forward, you have the Ten of Cups and the, the Magician, which is beautiful energy. <clears throat> it's an energy of emotional abundance, connection with people who you feel absolutely are supposed to be in your life. It is communication with others on levels that you had no idea could be experienced. It's, it's contentment on an emotional level, whether that be with loved ones, your family, your friends, potential future lovers, children, pets. Don't forget about pets. Um, <clears throat> with the magician here too, you have an energy that is presented to basically let you know that it's moving into an energy of change, of progression, of getting into a new sense of self, of, you know, basically changing, turning the tables in your life and making something different happen. Now that can be in a new um, business venture in your life, that can be in a new direction of studies. And when I say studies, I don't necessarily mean you're going back to school. That's not it. I mean, some of you could be going back to school. You may need a loan that was denied, you know, or financial advising. You may need to do a little bit more digging, possibly get a financial advisor in regard to that for those of you that are needing to go back to school. <clears throat> but overall, what I'm feeling here is that there's a new potential and opportunity for you to change things. So study, okay? Studying in your own right at home, watching YouTube videos, um, collecting data and information regarding whatever it is that you have interest in. This may lead you to a connection with somebody that you actually have a better chance with connecting to, you know, versus somebody that may have not seen um, a potential with you and that there's no fault there for that if a person is going in a different direction in their life so be it you have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck so in regard to you or whomever you may have dealt with somebody chose a different direction now it's your opportunity to choose a different direction but what's interesting here is that I want you to kind of look at I guess the the quote-unquote chronological aspect of this reading the direction start here and here but here the underlying energy the two of wands this is a card of needing to take action in which direction do you want to go and which where do you want to go which direction do you need to move towards in your life and what's kind of frustrating about this <clears throat> is that this person is looking into the past you know each deck is different you know each deck looks a different way and for this to be presented here like this it's almost like having a difficult time separating yourself from the past separating yourself from something that you may have wanted to happen but didn't happen with this ace of pentacles <clears throat> I don't think that that's a negative thing, though. I think that it's a delay to something that you actually really want. And getting to what you really want manifests through this. This is kind of a catalyst energy towards getting what you really want. So we're going to go ahead and pull some clarifiers for you here, Libra. <clears throat> Last time your reading was very loving. It was very specific about, I don't know, very interesting energy. This one is totally different energy. Show me the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. So you have the Ten of Swords here. Now the Ten of Swords is a card of finality. It's a card of letting pain go. So if you've been holding on to a situation where something didn't move through, didn't happen, um, <clears throat> that energy is being presented for you so you can let it go here. You can bury that energy. Um, and find a new direction. It's hard though when you're looking back and looking back and looking back, but fear not, the pain is going to be over fairly soon and um, moving past from this is going to be something that's really helpful to you just because it gives you the opportunity to see things for what they are and not to focus on something that couldn't happen or wouldn't happen. You know, it's just accepting things and not creating storylines for to make it okay. <clears throat> this is also a catalyst to get you here. Show me the Queen of Swords for Libra. You have Judgment coming out in reverse. Now, Libra, the Queen of Swords and Judgment in reverse, this is an interesting combo because with the Queen of Swords upright, she seeks honesty. She seeks to use her best judgment. 
where are we needing to turn this over? Where are you not accepting something for what it is? Where are you either holding on to a, po a past situation, a past love, a past job that may have left you that you're holding on to and hopes to get back to? <clears throat> it feels like that ship has sailed and it feels like it feels like it's more relationship related, but it feels like that pain is settling down now and you needing to use better judgment in regard to this. You know, what is gonna stabilize your life? What's gonna be better for you in the long run? Where can you start to be effective in your home and the practical aspects of your life versus just being in your head, just playing the situation over and over again? Where are you not taking care of your home life, your surroundings? Are you needing new <laughs> shoes, stockings, like do something have holes in it? You know, are you needing, what are you needing? What kind of food are you eating? What good things are you putting into your life, into your body, into your vessel? Turn your energy towards yourself, Libra. You have the Page of Pentacles for the Four of Cups. Um, yeah, you know, if you're dealing with a situation with a person, you may be watching them as well, or they may be watching you. I feel like you're watching them, though. Um... <clears throat> It's like whomever you dealt with, they left for something completely different. It's something that you probably would have never understood, you know, and it's something completely different here and that's where they're going. And that's their decision and that's their choice. And I think here with the judgment in reverse as well, you also, which plays into the narrative that you're telling yourself that they're not being... The, the, it could have been different. They're, they're being this way because of this and this and this. Don't make up stories for it, Libra. Allow it to be, you know. Whatever they left you for, <clears throat> that was their path. It's not your decision here. Be careful how much you spend time watching them, okay? Be careful how much time you spend watching them. Show me the Eight of Swords for Libra. You have the five of wands, you have the devil. So Capricorn energy, um, this is basically being very conflicted with yourself, uh, being conflicted in the situation. You're dealing with a toxic connection. You're dealing with a situation that was presented in your life for growth, but because it's so encompassing, it drags you in. It makes you feel like this was what it was. You know, the devil is a very powerful energy in regard to desire. It's, it highlights desire. It highlights lust. It highlights very, um, painful aspects of our experience in our lives that we may not be healed from, but yet we're still operating under in regard to love. So it's like, you know, we're stunted and we're still trying to get what we need, but we're operating from this one aspect and it's killing everything for us. These aspects are brought into our lives. These situations are brought us brought into our lives so we can address those aspects, so we can see them for what they are. We can see that chink in the armor. We can see that, you know, empty spot in ourselves where we need to really look deeper and come to a different understanding of how we experience love this from this point forward, you know? It's about taking action in your experience versus wallowing in the frustration, wallowing in a feeling of it should have been a certain way because this is just so connected with this person. You don't get to dictate that. The connection is what it is. That's the honesty part here that you need to pay attention to. Don't lie to yourself. Don't use misjudgment with this. It's being presented to you in a specific way for a reason, Libra. Show me the Ten of Cups for Libra. See, so you have the Magician here with the Magician. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. The bottom of the deck, I will say, you also have the Knight of Cups as well. So this may be a situation where you have emotional connection with people that are caring. This could also be somebody coming into your life, you know, that is emotionally receptive, emotionally wanting to get to know you, somebody that wants to go on a date, somebody that wants to extend things to you, be fair, you know. Knights are in and out, but like that energy is presenting itself here. Show me the magician, please, for Libra. 
So you have a star, <clears throat> which is a beautiful energy. It's about healing. It's about trusting yourself, trusting the path that you're on and moving forward in the direction that you're supposed to be in. So yes, for sure. It's also about recognizing things about yourself that you may have not seen in the past, Libra. Um, recognizing things about your potential that you may have been ignoring or not seeing at all. There's going to be some eye-opening experiences for you. With the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, I think that's beautiful. She's presented here. She's presented here. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, what I'm feeling is that there is going to be an awareness in regard to whatever situation this is. Basically allowing you to look at whatever you're dealing with here and become very honest with yourself in regard to how you move forward towards what you want. You have the magician presented here twice with the star. So whatever you're going to be getting into, it's going to be fairly important in your life. Now, it may be big energy in regard to, you know... Um, business, um, the financial aspect, it may be something that you're very recognized for, you know, um, but it also can just be a progression in your life where you're feeling much more satisfied, you're feeling whole, you're feeling like you can direct your life how you need to, and the people that are presented in your life are also working towards your best interest. It's not like you're at odds with them, you're on the same page. If you meet somebody in the future, it's two people wanting to be on the same page. It's two people wanting to bring light to a connection. It's two people wanting to experience something powerful together. But you had to go through this first. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to let others help. It's important to let other... Oh my God. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. <clears throat> Maybe this was part of that too, like maybe realizing that this person was not available to love you deeply, you know, they chose something else. I feel like they chose something else that you don't understand. I don't know why this keeps coming up this way, but it's something that you don't understand here. I feel like I said that already. Yeah, you have the direction to move forward. Please stop looking into the past. Yeah, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. Moving towards things in a different way. Working on things that actually make sense in your life. Go that direction. Don't hang on to stuff that isn't present. Don't hang on to things and people that can't be there for you. Okay? I'm going to pull one for Treasure Your Loved Ones. Okay? This is just the bottom of the deck. I want to pull one for Treasure Your Loved Ones. <clears throat> Show me treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. For Libra, show me treasure your loved ones. For Libra, treasure your loved ones. For Libra. <laughs> the devil <laughs> popping under the devil. Blah! Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. So the devil, interesting energy. Now this again talks about the potential for toxic connections. It talks about codependency. It talks about drug addiction. Um, be careful about loved ones who are all about drug addiction or like if you're getting high with them all the time, that energy isn't good for you. Um, but yeah, with the devil here, I don't, I think it's important to recognize the connection that you had with this person and be able to forgive them so you can make space in your life for other things. That's literally what I'm picking up. I don't feel anything necessarily bad with the devil there. It's just recognizing codependent energies, the toxic connections that we have in our lives, and also recognizing that with your loved ones and your friends. Who is toxic in your life? Who is, you know, unhealthy to be around? Separate yourself from those people and go to the people that actually make sense in your life. Even if they're friends, you know, just separate yourself from people that you know are literally fake, unhelpful, uncaring, those types of energies you need to pay attention to. Two of wands down here. Which direction do you want to go to? Just because it feels like you have like this energy of that kind of cloud around you where it's like you need to start to separate yourself from things that are not real for you. Separate yourself from people that can't give to you the way that you need to be given to. Maybe that's why the devil's coming up here. And don't feel conflicted like you have to appease everybody, Libra. You don't have to appease everybody. You don't have to make everybody feel good. It's okay to be <laughs> in conflict with people to a degree if you just shut the door and be done with it, you know, and you have just reason for doing so. It's okay to do that. 
So we're going to pull some advice here for this reading. Show me for Libra. Show me energy. What advice can you give Libra? So you have the chariot here. I'm going to pull one more card for the chariot because it's coming up in reverse. Show me the chariot in reverse here for Libra. Okay. So you have the princess of wands in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse with the chariot in reverse here, Libra. So it feels like you're going nowhere real fast. And I say that just because whatever this connection was, you need to balance your energy out from it. You need to not speak poorly about yourself and your decisions and relationships and experiences in life. You need to be on board with changing your experience from this point forward. And you need to be very conscious about not jumping in and out of situations that are fleeting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let them be fleeting. It's, it's, I don't know. There's some aspect here where it's like, you need to stop jumping in and out of relationships or situationships. Let me call them, um, to a certain degree. Um, I don't know. I think it's important to not romanticize things with this princess of wands in reverse and the devil here as well. <clears throat> it's just not a healthy energy. It keeps you locked in. The six of pentacles in reverse um, can often talk about not giving to situations any longer, um, you know, choosing to no longer give to things that aren't reciprocal. Um, sometimes it's just a card of lack, you know. <coughs> What relationships are showing up in your life that are causing lack? You know, whether it be this situation that you've dealt with or relationships with friends, relationships with family members, um, you know, people at work that you just kind of have to sever some ties with or make some space with, you know, that type of energy. The, <clears throat> I like how that happened. The devil's coming out in reverse. We'll just leave him in reverse. I don't really like him upright right there. Um, it's time to really address that energy. It's time to address your codependent nature with people and with situations. It's time to address how you um, present yourself. And it's really time to address how you balance your energy out in regard to this past situation because it feels like you have something really beautiful coming up here in the future. And there's an energy where we need to really be able to connect, um, or I'm sorry, disconnect um, ourselves from certain people. And not just this person that you may have been dealing with, but like people that are toxic in your life, okay? People that bring toxicity within your life. It's time to dis engage because right now what it feels like is like too much of that energy is being poured towards people. It's, I'm almost feeling like a people pleasing energy here, Libra. And it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> it's like needing to be so many things for so many people, but like, what are you for yourself? Don't put yourself separate. Don't put yourself to the side. Don't step aside. Okay. Um, the chariot in reverse, this needs to be upright. Basically, what this energy is saying is you're out of balance and you're not moving forward in a healthy way. There's a stagnancy here, and oftentimes it's going to deal with emotions. Um, dealing with the moon, this is a Cancerian energy, the chariot. <clears throat> Think about moon cycles. Think about the cycles of the moon here. This is interesting how this is also presented to um, in regard to the moon cycles. Um, give yourself the next moon cycle to purge the energy to come to grips with certain things give yourself the opportunity to change that and allow things to be illuminated through that time okay but you need to set a, a kind of a deadline here okay it's being proactive in your personal emotional life and only you are the one that get to do that so it's being honest about it and really recognizing where you need to kind of change some things here libra so you can become balanced and move forward in some significant positivity. So that is the reading I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. <clears throat> if it was, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description, blah, 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 in this, in the description box below. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys soon enough um, for February. All right, take care, you guys. Good luck with everything. You can do it. Bye-bye. Be discerning.